Revelation chapter 1 verse 1 please the book of Revelations chapter 1 verse 1 the revelation of Jesus Christ the revelation of Jesus Christ the word revelation means revealing the revealing of Jesus Christ jump down to verse 14 verse 14 his head and his hairs were white like wool his head and his hairs was white like wool. How many of you know what wool hair is? Wool hair. Anybody know? What is it? You. Oh, me. Yeah, what is wool hair? It's, how can I put it? Uh, how can you put it? Hey, hey, come. You, come here. You, 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 you come here. Come. Come here. Come here. Come. It's white. Oh, wow. This is wool hair. Wool, come, 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 come. come. This is wool hair. Texture is Afro hair. Everybody understand that? Yes. Wool hair is, how many of you ever seen a sheep or a lamb? You've seen it. It's hair like this. It has hair like this, thick hair. Everybody understand? Okay, thank you, young man. Does this have wool hair? No. No, it does not have wool hair. This is straight, thin hair. Right? Okay, read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. When it says his eyes was as a flame of fire, give me Genesis, I'm gonna show you what it means. It's a metaphor, okay? Genesis 49 verse 12. The book of Genesis chapter 49 verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes shall be red with wine. How many of you know the first miracle Jesus Christ did? Oh, she got her hand, what is it? Turning water into wine, very good. That was his first miracle. And guess what, they were at a wedding feast and they drank wine, okay? So let's go back now, read it again. His head, I'm sorry, yes, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he drank wine, read. And his feet, and his feet, like unto fine brass. How many of you know what brass looks like? What color is brass? Brass. Anybody knows? Nobody knows what brass looks like. Let me see if we have any brass around here. Brass. This is brass. Okay, so brass is like a light brown, right? Everybody can see that. So now, watch else what it says. Read it again. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. If I burned this brass, what color would it get? If I burn it? Black. You know how to cook? You. You, I'm, talk I'm talking to you. You, you know how to cook? Do you know how to cook? Yeah. If you burn white rice, what color does it get? Black. Hold it up again. So if I burn brass, what color will this get? Black. Black. So let's read it again now. And his feet, like unto fine... Hey, 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 you, you. Come here again, come here again. You, you. Come. I like this kid. So, turn around. I can see his feet, right? His feet is the same color as his face and his hands, right? Read it again. Stay right there, stay right there. Take your shoes off. Take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Take your shoes off. Come on, man. Read it again. And his feet. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. Fine brass. As if they burned in a furnace. Like this color. Like his color. Do you see that? Fine brass as if he burned in a furnace. So what color is this fine brass as if it burned in a furnace? This color? Huh? Yes or no? Is his skin matching like fine brass as if it burned in a furnace, huh? No match. The answer is no. no. Now give me the other one, where's the other paint? Now let's read it again. From the first top, 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So now let's put both, up. give me that one again. Let's come up, come up, come up. 
Which one matches what the Bible says? Is it this one or this one? Huh? Come on, point. You can come in, baby girl. Which one? You point. Which one? Very good. You see that? You see how we've been tricked in Christianity? The Bible describes Jesus like this. But during slavery and colonialism and apartheid, they gave us this. So that we would never unite together as a people. This is why they gave us their image as Jesus. But the Bible describes Jesus Christ like this. Get a good picture of that. Do you understand? You understand, sis? Tell me what you understand. You understand that Jesus is black or Jesus is white according to the Bible? Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So now we understand that Jesus, which one is Jesus Christ according to the Bible? Huh? Come up and touch it so I know exactly you know what I'm talking about. This one. That's right. Y'all should feel good about that thing. How many of you are happy about that? Raise your hand and say aye. Uh, All praises. Now I'm glad y'all see that thing. This should make this made me happy when I heard it. Because for years I thought this was Jesus. And I'd be oppressed when I wake up. I'd be sad when I wake up. But now I wake up happy and I go, I feel good. Da -da 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 -da. I'm happy because I know the king looks like us. We have a king of kings and lord of lords. Everybody understand that? Yes. All praise, all praise. Thank you, gentlemen. Y'all can put those back. Put those back. All praise. So now, I'm going to show you the history of South Africa in the Bible. Now, listen good to what I'm about to say. You're not going to find the words South Africa in the Bible. You're not going to find words like Haiti or America or Europe. And those words are not in the Holy Bible. The ancient names are in the Bible, though. Okay? Let's go to Deuteronomy 28. Let's start there. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is Moses. Moses is taking the Israelites from Egypt. Who knows where Egypt is? Raise your hand. Who knows where Egypt is located? Where is it? You want to throw? Where is it? Uh, northern part of Africa. Northern part of Africa. Very good. You know why that's, that's funny? Because a brother who's standing over there thought Egypt was in America. I said, Egypt is not in America. Egypt is on the continent of Africa. Most people don't realize the beginning of the Bible all takes place in Africa. So that should make you understand Moses could not be a white man. You understand it? That's point number one. So, read it again. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. If you don't observe to do all his commandments. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? How many of you say a curse is good? Anybody think a curse is good? How many of you say a curse is bad? Ah, so God told Moses to tell us, if you break what, a curse will come upon you. Break what? Anybody remember what we just read? What? Emil. Huh? Emil. Emil? No. Go ahead. <laughs> Commandments. People ask, what is God's religion? What's the true religion? All through the Bible, all you read about is commandments. You don't read Roman Catholic in the Bible, that's not there. You don't read Anglican, you don't read Baptist, you don't read Methodist or Baptist. You read about commandments, okay? So number one, Egypt is where again? Let me hear it. Where? Of Africa. Africa, okay? I want wisdom mega. 
Here's Mecca. Mecca. See, the young men know Egypt is in Africa, not America. Okay? <laughs> wow. So now, and if we break God's what? We'll go have a curse if we break what? Commandments. Commandments. So let's read some, I'm going to read some curses, and you tell me if it happened to us here in South Africa, or if it did not. Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Were the sons and daughters of South Africa given to the Dutch and the British? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Go ahead. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Did they take some of your sons and daughters to other countries? Yes. Yes. Go ahead. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Did our people have military might to get our sons and daughters back? No. Okay. So that's another thing that identifies us as the people that came out of Egypt with Moses. Verse 48. Oh, y'all come on, y'all. Oh, you got it right here. Thank you. <laughs> Verse 48. Go ahead. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger, you gotta serve your enemies for food, and in thirst for water, and in nakedness, clothing, and in want of all things. Want of all things means if you want religion, if you want medicine, you have to go to your enemies for it. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until we have destroyed. A yoke of iron, do we have pictures of yokes of iron? Yokes of iron, do we have any? Yokes of iron. Did this happen to us in slavery? Come on, nobody can see. Y'all standing too far back. Yokes of iron. They put yokes of iron on our people's necks during the time of slavery. Do y'all see that? Okay. So that's another point that identifies us as the Israelites in the Bible. Watch verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now the word Egypt is Greek. Anybody knows what Egypt means? It means slavery, bondage. It's a Greek word. It has a meaning. It means slavery. Read it again. <laughs> and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. Did we go into slavery with ships? Yes or no? Yes. That young lady said no. Y'all said yes, but she said no. That's why history is very important. Yes, our people did go into slavery on ships. They took many from South Africa and took them to England, took them to the Caribbean. This is what Moses prophesied would happen. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Any, who read, come here, tell me what this, these words say right here, these three words. To be sold. To be sold. These are actual advertisements way back in the 1500s and 1600s. To be sold, a cargo of 94 Negroes. That's what they did. This is history. But we never was taught, it's in the Bible. We never knew it was in the Bible. Read it again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men, slave men, and bond women, slave women, and no man shall buy you. When it says no man shall buy you, that means no man shall save you from slavery. Nobody could save us, no one at all. So our people went into slavery on ships, they sent some of us to the Americas, some of us to Canada, some of us to England, and some stayed behind. That's you right here, here. Okay, and this is what happened, being sold. Being sold. Okay, this is what we're looking at here. All right, if you can see the map here, it took many from Madagascar, Mozambique, all throughout here, Southern Africa, okay? And it took some to the Americas, they took some of us to Europe. We are one nation, one people, okay, that was divided and separated during slavery. Now let me ask you a question. Why did we go into slavery again? Anybody remembers what we read? You. 
Be why did we suffer the curse? If we broke the commandments, if we broke the commandments, Moses said this would happen to us. Did it happen to us? Yes, it happened to us. Now what I want to do is show you some more color in the Bible. Anybody, anybody heard of the prophet Job in the Bible? Job, he suffered affliction, he was sick. Anybody ever heard of him? Nobody heard of him? Anybody heard of King Solomon? Huh? Or you heard of King Solomon? Was he black or white? You're not sure? Okay, that's good. Song of Solomon, chapter 1. Let's start at verse 1. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. Solomon wrote these songs. Verse 5. I am black, but comely. I am what? I am black, but comely. Wait, wait, wait. Who reads English good? Who reads English? You read English good? You. You don't read English? I think you're lying. I think you read English very good. You read English well? I think y'all lying too. You read English? Come here, you. Come here with the baby. But I, I think you lying too. Show them this. I want you. Verse, where's five? You know I ain't got my glasses. What is that? I am black, but come. So what do you think you can't read? Uh, you, I can't. You can read. I know you can read. So what does Solomon say? I am black, but come. Comely means good looking, handsome. Do you see? So I wanted him to read it so you know I didn't make it up. He can read it for himself. The problem is we have never read the Bible. Our people have never read this Solomon. Solomon was the king of Israel, the king of the Jews. Give me some more. Give me Jeremiah 8.21. Anybody heard of the prophet Jeremiah in the Bible? Jeremiah. You heard of Jeremiah? Good. Jeremiah 8 verse 21. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 21. For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black. I am what? I am black. Jeremiah says I am black. They never taught us this in Sunday school. They never taught us this in church. Why? So that, you, so that the slaves would never unite together as the children of Israel. You would never come back to your true ancestry. You would remain in your little spiritualism groupings, which is what? Going into sins, worshiping our ancestors, my dead uncle, I pray to my dead uncle Freddie. That's sin. God told us don't do that. But throughout the continent, many of us was taught that by our fathers and our fathers' fathers. God says, don't do that. If you want prayer, you pray to God the Father. Everybody understand that? So because we broke that law, this is one of the reasons we went into slavery. Give me another one. Give me um, Lamentations. Chapter 4, verse 8. Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 8. Their visage is blacker than a coal. The word visage means their faces is bl what? Blacker than a coal. Oh, how many of you ever heard of angels? You ever heard of angels? Mm. We all heard of angels, right? Growing up, and I said, oh, mommy, we have little white angels. Are there any black angels, mommy? No, there's no black angels. But let's see what the Bible says. Ezekiel chapter 1. Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 13 as for the likeness of the living creatures the living creatures are the angels their appearance was like burning coals of fire their appearance was like burning coals of fire anybody know what a coal looks like a coal what color was a coal black so the Bible says the appearance of the angels was like coals of fire I never was taught that in church. Were you taught that in church? Were you taught that? No. Were you? No. None of us were. We all been lied to. That's what slavery and colonialism is about. Indoctrinate the slaves with lies. The entire church system lies. Jesus is white. God is white. The angels are white. The people of God, the Israelites are white. Lie, 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 lie. We're reading that they're black. They all look like us. So we've been deceived. Everybody understand me? Anybody confused? Anybody confused? Are you confused? Anybody over here confused? Are you men confused? Very good, very good, very good. So give me, uh, give me another one. Give me uh, 
Jeremiah 14 and 2. So I've given you some color and I've given you the conditions of our people. Okay, let's get some more. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Judah mourneth and the gates thereof languish. They are black. They are what? They are black unto the ground. Judah is black unto the ground, meaning black like the soil of the earth. Oh, you know what I want? Adam. Anybody heard of Adam and Eve? Yes. The first man, the first woman. What they look like? You. I'm picking on you. Yeah, you. You. Yeah, with the braids. The long braids. Yeah, you. Adam and Eve, what they look like? Black or white? White. She said, white. Let's see, Genesis 2 and 7. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Hey, somebody give me some dust of the ground right there. You dig up some dust of the ground right over there too. There's some right there. You got it? Let's take it up to them. Take it up to them. Come on, come on. What color is the dust of the ground? Come on, get some more. What you scared for? You wash your hands later on. Take the leaves out. Take the leaves out. Now that's the top soil, but the deeper you dig, show it to them. Adam was the color of the dust of the ground. Is that a white man? No. The deeper you dig, the darker it gets. So Adam and Eve look like me and you. You and me. Y'all understand that? So we've been lied to. Lied to, lied to, lied to. Everything they taught us has been a lie. Everything. Okay? Read, read it again. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And God breathed into our nostrils the breath of life. Get down to Eve. Should be down here. Get to the point. Here, I see a woman there. Start down there. And Adam, well, no, start at verse 22. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman. Made he a woman. So Eve, the black woman, comes from Adam, a black man. And brought her unto the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bone. This woman is bone of my bones. And flesh of my flesh. And flesh of my flesh. Her flesh is my flesh. Okay. My flesh is her flesh. This is flesh. Skin, this is flesh. And she shall be called woman. She shall be called woman. 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 Because she was taken out of man. Because she was taken out of man. The word woman means of man. Remember that. The word woman means of man. She comes from us. She comes from us, our forefather Adam. You understand that, right? You don't come from her. She comes from you. That's what God says. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 